Okay, and welcome back to a Introduction to Space Engineer series with me, Maxius Slight. In this episode, I'm intending to cover the use of the G menu, equipping and using tools, basic tools, gathering resources, and processing those resources. So let's get started. The most important menu in the game, and the one that you're going to find yourself using most often, more often than any other, is the G menu. We call it the G menu because you press G to activate it. Okay. Um, this menu you're going to find yourself using a lot. It's going to be in there, uh, opening it up and closing it most of the time you're playing this game. So, even if you're playing in creative, you will be using this menu a great deal. In here, it displayed all of the blocks in the center panel here that you can use. And you can drag any of these blocks down into your toolbar like so uh, when you have them selected you can then cycle through them by pressing the corresponding numbers okay we'll cover a little bit more in depth on block building in another episode so let's have a look at the panel on the left hand side here you can see all the filters okay the filters are simple all blocks show you all blocks that you are available to use and they'll be displayed here in the center block weapons and block tools are weapons and tools that can be placed on a ship and used character weapons character tools are the same for a character they're your um, weapons and tools that you can use it by hand character poses are some emotes armor blocks cockpit and conveyors are blocks that are primarily used in your building creations and cockpits obviously you'll be using for ships and stuff. Large blocks are simply blocks that can only be used on a large grid. Power blocks speak for themselves again. They are the different types of power that you can use to power your creations. Production blocks, um, these ones will allow you to transform and um, resource, process resources and use them, use those processes resources into um, construction components that you can use to build and we'll be covering a little bit of processing in a minute block building will come in the next episode small blocks again this is um, the small variation of large blocks that can be used on a small grid I will cover the differences between large and small grids in another episode and windows blocks okay if you notice some of let's just focus for now on all, um, all blocks but if you notice um, some of those filters were empty and that's because here in the center we have two tabs one's called blocks one's called progression okay um, the, all the blocks I've just explained to you what they are it, you, you, it's what you can build okay progression is the tech tree it's the tech tree of space engineers now when you go onto the progression you will see a main item here on this side which starts the branch. You can build the basic assembler and, it's, and it will unlock. So if you read the tooltips on these things, it tells you what you need to build in order to unlock it. Okay, so in order to unlock these, you build the basic assembler. So let's quickly do that. Okay. Don't worry, this stuff I will explain in much more detail later on. Much more detail. So what you're seeing now is <clears throat> rebuilding a block, but that, that will come. So when the block's built, you get the notification come up there. It says, by building basic assembly, you have unlocked other blocks. Let's go back to G menu, progression. We can now build these blocks here. Okay? It's as simple as that. So from now on, I'm going to have to um, cover my cover the progression as I go. I may need to pause the video as I gather resources for each um, for each part that I make. So I won't show you that on on um, video because that's a bit you know, that's a bit much for this kind of information right now. So tools very very important. You, um, as a space engineer, you have access to a variety of tools to help you. Okay, you 
go to your character tools by opening the G menu and you will select the tools. Sorry, there is one thing I've forgotten on the progression. If I go back, you can turn off this progression in the um, game setup menus. It's one of the options under advanced settings. Now, one warning, you will have all of the blocks available in the game straight away, and it becomes quite over, um, overbearing, overwhelming. So I would suggest, and I will cover how to do a basic startup once I've gone through all the basics here. So I will show you how to do a, um, a survival and how to progress to the basic level. Okay? So tools. We press the G menu, we go into it, we go to character tools, and we can see here a whole bunch of tools. Now you have three different types. You have welders, grinders, and hand drills. Welders are for building, grinders are for dismantling, and hand drills are for gathering resources. You also use the welder for repair work. As you can see there are four different types of each. And they've got different um, levels on them, so they go from enhanced, proficient to elite, but all of these are grayed out and there's only one set that are highlighted. You can only use the highlighted set. In order to use a tool or a weapon, you must first be carrying it in your inventory. So let's go and check our inventory. We press Escape to come out of the G menu. We press I to show you our uh, menu. And in our uh, inventory, <coughs> forget all this stuff down the bottom because this is stuff that I've been doing to do other bits and pieces. But you can see I have a grinder, a hand drill, and a welder, just the basic ones. Okay, so let's go back by pressing G to character tools, and you can see that the basic set are highlighted. So I always have my um, tools on the same numbers. I always have grinder on number one, welder on number two, and drill on number three. Okay. You can also use an automatic rifle in the same process. You just go to character weapons and it's there. And again, with the rifles, you have different upgraded ones. In order to use the different tiered um, weapons and tools, you need to build one and have it in your inventory. And then these tool icons will be highlighted, so you can drag that down. So if I build myself a level three welder, this icon will be highlighted and I can drag it down onto my toolbar and use it. It's very simple. Now, everyone can always use a basic set of tools. Again, I need to sort my bars out, which I'll go cover again later. If you die and respawn, most games by default will spawn you with a grinder, a hand drill, a welder, a rifle and a couple of magazines. That's the basic set you will always get. Okay, They can be built, which we will cover later, but you'll always have them, so you'll always have the basics. But again, in order to upgrade, you need to build the next tiered uh, weapon or tool, have it in your inventory and drag the corresponding um, icon down onto your toolbar. I can cycle through my tools and weapons now by pressing their corresponding numbers. So number one is my grinder, two is my welder, three is my drill, and four is my rifle. Okay, and you can just cycle through those when you need them. Right. Let's move on to gathering resources. First of all, you're going to need to select your hand drill. And this is this one here. And for me, that's on level three. Now, if you look, the drill has a small um, ore detector equipped. Now if you look you can see some of these white icons here where I'm pointing. Um, it's up to 50 meters, sometimes it's 40 meter-ish, I'm not sure, it's a bit weird sometimes, but I've already discovered this when I was mapping out before, so it might already be there or it might be using the antenna and stuff, so just be aware it might not be quite as far distance as I'm showing here. But when you get close to the asteroid, the rock, or the ground that you wish to drill, you will see these 
white squares with a name on it. So you can see ice there, and as you go to the ice, you'll see the ice. And as you see the iron here, it, it's quite obvious on the outside of the asteroid what they are, because you can see the different colours and stuff. Sometimes they're inside the asteroid, sometimes if you're on a planet, they're not so obvious. So you might need to do a little bit of um, digging to find them. Now, drills and space engineers have two, two modes. The first mode is by right-clicking. It clears a larger area. As you can see, the rock is clearing away there. But here is a really important thing. Right-click will not gather any resources at all. It will destroy. So if you do this, I do this on rock to clear through and everything, to get, get a clear area, right? But if you do that on resources, it will destroy the resources by right-clicking and you will not gather them. The second mode is, the, is resource gathering, okay? And that is by left-clicking. And when you left-click onto a resource, it knocks off chunks like this, okay? When you highlight the chunk, you can press, I think, I believe it's F as default, and it should, whichever your pickup key is, all right? And what you would do is just keep on gathering that resource. Okay. Now, we've gathered that. I want to gather a little bit of stone to show you as well. So now my inventory is full. Let's head our way back. That's gathering the resources. There's not much else I can tell you for that. Now we need to process those. Because at the moment, if you check our inventory, we have some rock and some iron. You wouldn't have these. Let me put those away to um, stop any confusion a second. So your inventory, if you follow what I'm saying, will now look something like this, okay? Now, you have some iron and some stone. They're no good in the current state, so what you would need to do is refine them. Okay, on this setup, it's quite easy, because this is the easy start space. There's, everything is built for you. So what I'm going to just quickly show you is to turn the rocks and stones from ingots uh, from ore and stone into ingots you need to put them in a refinery and this is the refinery's um, inventory so if I drag the stones across place them there look, it gathers a small amount of resources from stone so stone's not useless you can get it get trace amounts but iron if I drag the iron across you can now see that the amount of ores going down and the amount of iron ingots is going up okay so that's how you process it you put it into a refinery now there are ways to automate this which i will show you later on and obviously there's the progression which again i will go through later but the most important thing is once you have ore, you need to turn it into ingots and as long as your uh, refinery is powered and i'll talk more about power and the grids later on but um, as long as it's powered, it will automatically refine anything you put into it, okay? So, you now know how to navigate the most used menu in the game, how to select a block, and how to equip tools. You also know how to find, gather, and process resources into ingots for use in construction. That's going to be the end of this episode, and I will say thank you very much. Big love from the Big Brit. I will see you in the next episode, which is going to be concentrating on construction of blocks. Okay, take care. Ta-da.